Pioneer Valley Planning Commission has released their 2015 plan for progress on how to make our region prosper into the future. Tonight, we continue our discussions about the plan for progress, looking specifically at what it takes to foster a vibrant business community. Joining us are Susan Casa, president of Boulevard Machine and Gear in Springfield, Delcy Bean, CEO of Paragus Strategic IT in Hadley, and the president and CEO of the Economic Development Council of Western Massachusetts, Rick Sullivan. I think the EDC's role is exactly as, as you talked about, which is to, um, you know, my board at the EDC is the um, CEOs and the, and the business leaders of the largest employers in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in terms of Western Massachusetts. And in reality, they do, um, you know, in many ways control the economy of Western Massachusetts. And so what the, the leadership position that the EDC is able to take is on those larger regionally based issues that are important to business. So whether we're talking workforce development, which I think is the number one issue on everybody's uh, minds right now, you know, energy, education, public safety comes in um, as a component. We need to be um, a spokesperson um, and drive an agenda um, that's important to the, the business community here in Western Massachusetts. Del CV and Susan Kostin, I'll, I'll let you fight over who takes this first. Maybe I'll direct it to you, Susan, because you and I had a chance to talk a little before the taping. You both lead relatively small but growing companies. Let's talk about what you found, what you're finding in terms of the support, the backing that's here to help a new business succeed. And, and, and Susan, you were saying Economic Development Council, people have found you and what you do, your machine and gear business, through the EDC website, right? That, that's a win-win. They clicked from one website to another, found us here in the Pioneer Valley, and having the Regional Employment Board, the Workforce Training, it's just been phenomenal to have those things help us here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think for us, as Rick was saying, workforce is our biggest challenge. So the work that the EDC and the other organizations are doing around helping to build that workforce pipeline is what's most critical to us. And it's a it's a multifaceted you know question and ultimately answer. So it needs to be a discussion. You know, as we were just saying here with with parents. You know, particularly as we focus at a center of excellence of Western Massachusetts is precision advanced manufacturing. We do it better than any place else in the state, and arguably better than any place else in the country. It the is machine, truly it started here. I mean, it, it was born here. It, it, there's a history here, um, but it isn't what it used to be either. So you know, parents need to to know that this is a this is a profession that you know they would they want their children to go into these are very good paying jobs that you can live the american dream you know with these jobs so you need to have you know the training um, and you need to to have that as a as a vocation um, to be able to move forward because it isn't it isn't the manufacturing that people think about you know working in the factory and punching holes in a piece of metal all day long this is high tech it's precision manufacturing it's computers it's it it's clean um, and you you know aside from all of that you, you do some really exciting things, whether you're building airplane parts or submarine parts or, mm -hmm. you know, runners on the U.S. bobsled team. I mean, it is all coming through Western Massachusetts. It's very exciting right now. Mm -hmm. Susan, you're the new cutting edge version of the business on which this valley really was built, machining. But like Rick said, you're not doing it the old way. It's not just punching holes and things. I mean, exactly. this is real high tech stuff now, right? It's all changed from the machinery right down to the, the fluids used. It, it's not where your grandfather worked and you saw oil and chips on the floor. It's a very clean environment. And getting the parents to overcome that stigma. Delcy, you're a little bit other end of the spectrum in terms of what your company does. Paragus Strategic IT, working with ideas, working with not so much the hard made product but the idea end of things, and that's that's the future too, right? It is, and there's a lot of similarities in the sense that we're both, we're both solving problems. Um, we're both creating new things and we're both trying to move the needle forward. And so, you know, at our business, that's often solving businesses' problems using technology. It's making them more efficient. It's making them, you know, more optimized. It's creating more information flow. But it's all about driving the business forward and helping them succeed and thrive, very much like the machine shops that we have, supporting the companies that they make the parts for and helping them continue to thrive and find ways to do it more efficiently, more inexpensively, um, faster. Um, and it's, we, we have a lot of similarities in that way. And correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think you and Susan had met before today's uh, taping. You sat in a conference room here for a few minutes before the taping. 
And I couldn't help but times over here. You, you were really getting in with the conversation between these two entrepreneurs was fascinating and, and the synergies you were finding, it seemed. Absolutely. The, sim the similar issues that we're dealing with workforce, it's such a cr crucial point. And we're going down the same lines yeah, and it, using the same practices. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think that it, it's, I think a lot of people are surprised to hear that both of those industries are in desperate need of employees. And really, it's our greatest growth challenge is hiring and finding the right talent. And we're both taking similar approaches of looking at high school youth and looking at veterans and looking at other populations that maybe can be um, trained and turned into that workforce. And we're both investing a lot of our own time and money and resources and partnering and collaborating. Talent is one of the key areas that the Plan for Progress has identified. That's all a big part of what we're talking about today, making business work here, right? A absolutely. And I have to say the Baker Polito administration has stepped right up and has, um, you know, they've been out here a number of times and have made commitments to um, letting the regions decide, you know, what is important for their economic development future. Um, and I think you'll see precision manufacturing right up the top as well as the innovation um, sector of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And it isn't just creating talent from within, it's also then retaining the talent. So I can tell you that the colleges and universities through their presidents um, you know, are equally interested in being able to retain the talent here locally, not just educating the talent and having it leave to go elsewhere. So that means that we have to have a full package um, of quality of life issues that the young people want to have here in Western Massachusetts. Because while you and I can think it's a great uh, quality of life and it's a great place to raise your family, there does need to be all the, uh, the excitement that the younger generation wants to have here. And we can have it all here in Western Massachusetts. Well, Rick Sullivan, Delcy Beans, Susan Casa, thank you all for your time today. Appreciate having you in. Thank you. Thank you.